Hey everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV for Crossroads, the final quest in patch 7.1. Well, it's possible that Shale has made he made headway by now, and regardless, we should spread the word that the railroad has been restored to service. Shale, what do you have her working on? Funny enough, another another kid's parents, Uljar's mother. And you got a bit of an issue with your own mummy, eh? Want to go see this? It's a shame. I feel the same in his shoes. I felt have felt the same. Uh, some questions are painful and to leave unanswered. There's no cause to look at me like that. The Tachula we met may have only been a a silicrum, but her memory was real. Needn't search for what she left behind because she left it with me. And I will carry it away. Oh. Speaking of things you're carrying. That's a teeny tiny tachula. Uh, what? No. Really a token from Alexander. Our friends in Oblivion uh, would not take no for an answer. I thought it was a good souvenir as any. Whatever you say. Uh, for what it's worth, I think it's a nice way to bring her with you on your travels. Yeah, uh, yes, well, uh, you're off to the dome now, aren't you? And I thought I might join you for a time, see if there's aught I can do for the people there. Much has changed, though it, it is still... And consider it my home. Of course, we can give you a full story on the way. Nice, just come with us. Honestly, I expected to spend a lot more time with Oren Vale, the expansion. Oh look, it's Alternus. We should give him a give him a wave. We want to say hi to Alternus. Whoopsie daisy. Um, right, we go to Solution Nine. Back to the back room. Whoops, it's this one. Yeah, you're heading to the back room. I am indeed. Oh, no, I'm not, apparently. I am indeed. Yo, Raha, what you got for me? A voice cutscene? No. No such luck. Honestly, all this should be voiced. Simply an elegant solution, unless the railroad is back in operation. Meanwhile, Shell has nearly finished proceed, uh, processing the data. Uh, she'll be able to share her findings with us imminently. Oh! Some time. Am I interrupting something, I gather? Why, you, you stole her. What uh, brings you here? I've seen enough of the gate of the sky deep in Oak Penal. So I'm shifting my investigation to living memory. Uh, while there, I thought it would do well to have company of an expert on Electrope. Uh, I'd like a closer look at the place myself. Uh, I can join you once we've finished here. Unless uh, fear I've forgotten, once I've made headway with living memory, the key in your keeping shall be next to my subject of scrutiny. So I guess that's going to be next patch to deal with the key. Just to remind us, I guess, that your stall is still working on something. 
which might join the first and second in some form or way. There was a mountain of data to sift through, much of it tantalizing, I admit. But it will take time to fully decrypt everything that piques my interest. So, to answer our immediate question, I've been concentrating my efforts on the audio saved by Taishul Jha herself. While I've not listened to it yet, I have a selection ready for playback. Would you like to hear it now? Yes, please. All right. Several audio files will now play in sequence. Please set aside enough time to view it. I, uh, <clears throat> my name is Tay Shalja, and I decided to record this to to help me put my thoughts in order, I suppose. Mother? Officially, I am. Was a Calvergian with the Lance Guard. I was part of a contingent dispatch to Yasulani to hunt a Tural Vidral that was wreaking havoc. After our mission was complete, I elected to remain. It was the perfect opportunity to document the geographic distribution of medicinal herbs in this region. Or so I said when requesting special dispensation. In truth, I could not bear to return to Tuizolal. I had hoped to aid Commander Zoralja in the rite of succession, but he did not so much as look my way. I was never in contention, Ugh. of course. One of the nameless many in It's Japan. leading towards her just having a crush on him, which is kind of lame. To go back and face that reality was too much for me, so I ran. And in my cowardice, I stumbled upon this path. A path that changed my life. It'd be so much more fun if she was like a crazy scientist, right? When the dome appeared, I found myself trapped within, and reunited with my commander. I... how am I to speak of Commander Zoranja? I admired him. His incontestable strength. His unwavering focus. He was... A man of great passions. Is she like a healer or something? Like her gear doesn't seem as uh, uh, battle oriented as the other lions guard. I watched him, captivated by his intensity. From afar, I would not dare approach. And in watching, I came to know him. His eyes too sought the distance, but not as mine did. He yearned not for another, but something else, beyond the horizon. That gaze would never fall upon me. I knew. I knew. The experiment will soon proceed to its next phase, and when it does, as he promised, I will have my heart's desire. Today, today, it should have been today, a new beginning, what I have dreamed of for so long. I hold a future in my arms. If he could see him, embrace him, surely, surely that would be enough. So full of hope I was, a foolish hope.
Its scales are blue. He's your son. <laughs> My... All right, little one. Papa was just surprised. That's all. He'll come around. We'll be a happy family. Kanunoka is shouting for me. The research hasn't been going well. But I can't let him take it out on my baby. Hush now, little one. I know. I know just where I do. Oh, Jesus. That's all of them. Well, we can only assume that he then killed her. Is that what happened? He was abandoned, the poor dear. We found him in the drift downs a few years ago. We know some manner of accident happened at the facility after this was recorded. Perhaps your mother couldn't come back for you. Hey, Gulocha. I'm fine, Lamachi. Father and mother, they were both so lonely. If we could have been together, Maybe they wouldn't have been. <sighs> but sometimes things don't work out, no matter how hard you try. I... I can't tell if I'm happier now. But it's better to know, I think. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, better to know. I'm not sure I like the snap. That, that ending one sounded like she fully expected to come back. And the fact that she didn't come back, I think, rather upsetting. I didn't mean to click on you, Kral, but you can tell me what you got on your mind anyway. Why is such a record, you ask? I can't be certain, but I believe that Shilja simply wanted someone to know how she felt. Understand? Maybe. It's better to know. Hmm. Profound response for someone so young. Though I wish it didn't have to be. The girl Jar intended is indeed wise beyond his years. Yet one never outgrows the need for dependable companions. It is fortunate that he has you. Thank you, Shale. Thank, thank you, Shale. Uh, because of you, I got to hear my mother's whole story. You heard it because you were brave enough to listen, Gorja. You remember one thing. Remember that. They dance. <laughs> <laughs> like a jet. Now then, um, having shared the what we can at present, I am ready to head to living memory when you are. 
I'm planning to be thorough, so we need to stop for supplies on the way. That said, I promise uh, we won't remain over long. I know we all have much more to attend to. That now, farewell. All right, bye, bye, Shale. What you got for me, Jared? Oh, a word before you leave. There are networks already uh, spreadly a uh, world, spreading world, spread spreadly, <laughs> spreading world, word of the rail world. Now, we expected people would be clamoring to get on board the first train back. Yet the reaction has been uh, the polar opposite. A uh, scant few seem inclined to depart Alexandria anytime soon. What? We spoke before. You said many from Turiel were eager to reunite with their friends and family. Maybe they're concerned about getting through Vanguard? So we could take turns to accompany them. In any case, we need to speak with the people ourselves. Let's start with the Ley Line 9. Alright. This seems like a weird go talk to everybody for the last quest sort of situation. Mm. Man, I don't know. I'm, that's fine. It, it's a fine little plot. And there's like, there's two very similar plot lines going side by side there with Kona and with uh, Guljaja, or Gulja, should I say? Not Gulja, Jaja. Um, so it seems a little odd, if I'm honest. It seems, it does seem a little odd, you know, that the, uh, putting those stories right next to each other, when I feel like, I don't know, I guess I understand. It just seems, It seems odd. It, I don't know. It feels odd to put those stories so close to each other. Um, but more importantly, I'm kind of bummed out that that she was just kind of just after Zolja. She just had a crush on him, you know? That was a bit odd. I kind of wish that she was know, it's like a bit more fun than just somebody in love with an asshole who... Honestly, at this point, I suspect I ended up killing her. Yeah, we'll come out. What's up? There may still be people gathering in the in Prix's Park. Let's try that first. Sure. People look uneasy. Did something happen? Oh. I mean, they weren't exactly ecstatic before, were they? Have you heard? Someone was killed in the Thunder Yards. The Thunder Yards was one of the hunters slain by a beast. It was a hunter, all right, and a veteran at that. But it was no fiend that did him in. Only a random bolt of lightning. Such a senseless way to die. They say that he expended his last soul cells during Zaraljar's attack on the city. For an upright, hard-working man to meet such an unceremonious end, it feels wrong. Yes. But we'll be fine, won't we? Even if the system no longer erases our memory of the departed, the regulators continue to function. I shan't go before my time. Growing old and passing peacefully with the help of the ushers is only natural. Well, you may think so. But like I haven't seen a lot of her in ages. We have no memory of those who have gone. More may have met violent deaths than passed from old age, and we would be blissfully unaware. It could happen to you, or me, to any of us. Then what are we to do? Spend every waking moment thinking only of how we might die? <sighs> we 
With time, I had hoped that they'd be able to adjust to their new situation. But it's only gotten worse. Well, I mean, they're gonna need a little bit more time, I guess. Sorry, what? Uh... What? What indeed? as ever Nico never fear I'm here to set things aright I don't understand Spain is gone forever you were there Gossen you were the Queen's aide weren't you what's the meaning of this Begging your pardon, Valve Resolve. But Her Majesty Queen Sphine is paying visit to her people, as is her wont. What are you talking about? Sphine is dead. You officiated the funeral yourself. We all placed flowers to mourn her passing. A funeral? For Her Majesty? What the fuck? What a curious jest. You know full well that ceremony was to commemorate those lives lost during the attack of Alexandria. Her Majesty walks among her people that she might support them in this most trying of times. Surely that is not cause for consternation. <sighs> I don't like the word consternation. Your Majesty, won't you free us from these terrible memories of the departed? This is no way to live, not for us, nor our children. I wish that I could. Truly I do. But with living memory shut down, even I cannot restore the system that once afforded us that comfort. You needn't fret, however. I have prepared an alternate solution. Shall be made endless. Uh, what? I have created a new system that allows you to transplant your memories directly into an ethereal vessel, one not reliant upon soul cells. This way, you need never again fear death. You may live as you please and for as long as you like. Our stores of ether are, at present, not sufficient to provide this boon to everyone. But some of you received Neo Regulators for the funeral ceremony, did you not? And there are still more we have yet to distribute. Five thousand in all. One day soon, those with Neo Regulators will be called to join the Endless. And thence be free of suffering forevermore. But only five thousand of us. You victor. The real Sphine would never be content to save only some of her people. Who are you? Is this fucking Skynet? We got like we got a Skynet situation. I am Sphine, the Queen of Reason. Oh, it's creepy.
You just say the word, Lamity, I'll take it down. <laughs> I'll cut it right off right here. Let's return to the back room. I need to calm down. And then we'll talk. Oh, but that doesn't sound like a voiced cutscene. A Terminator walks among us. Skynet is real. Trial. Trial help. Skynet. It's here. It's gonna kill us all. We only caught the information of the from a distance. I can tell that there was a message about uh, about near regulators it was received almost almost clearly. Okay. Don't talk. It couldn't have been Sveen. She should have been destroyed with the Meso terminal shut down. At a single Alexandrian to bear witness, uh, presented with a identical figure coming, coming to their, their, their to their beloved queen, there's no surprise they would choose to believe she's alive. What's troubling, however. Is their denial that the funeral was held in their honor? That their memories have been erased. But Altwood, they think it's to do with uh, the people who died during the thing. People still died, though. So, given the memories of Oblivion remain unaffected, it's likely the work of the regulators. Uh, by, the, by whose design? Someone smart enough to play, play at being the queen of reason. That guy's, even if some suspect deception, most of Alexandria will be on her side. We need to find out who she really is. But I agree wholeheartedly. Avoid, avoid drawing more attention than we already have. We must be patient until Oblivion's network turns up a lead, or until our self-proclaimed queen makes her next move. In let's say, let's wait roughly three to four months. Uh, I'll take the crit, I guess. Oh, meanwhile, there in living memory. Oh, where am I? This is the real Sveen? Why am I? Or the real one that we think is real? You can't be the fake one, right? She's there, not here. I feel like you guys should be approaching her a bit more quickly. There you go. <sighs> Fear of death, the people turn to a queen reborn, their fates to learn. Crossroads. Well, that was interesting. That dungeon was 
was leading down to a real like scary vibe and i was really quite digging it i was i thought we were on something really fucking cool there like a weird resi evil vibe there's some cool shit uh then we're back on to this uh thing we've seen i don't know what that's about i'm excited to find out though maybe it's some sort of like a I was jokingly, half jokingly saying stuff about Skynet, but actually, the more I think about it, have we just got like a true AI coming and killing us all? That's no, only a matter of time, really, isn't it? Uh, anyway, that is it. That's it for Crossroads. I don't want to sit here and blabber on and try and extend the length of this video. We, we've done it. We've done Final Fantasy XIV Crossroads again. Uh, we will return for more Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I'd like to say in probably March. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Maybe, maybe Feb? Maybe, maybe late Feb? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making it up. I'm guessing. I'm guessing at best. But we'll come back when the next patch is out and find out what the hell is going on with the Skynet situation. There's some spooky ass, spooky ass shit going on. I'm not sure, I'm not sure I like it. It's all a bit weird, but we'll figure it out uh, next time. And I will see you all very soon for another video, not Final Fantasy related. Uh, I'll see you guys in a little while, Final Fantasy, but I hope to see you soon. I'll see you then. Bye bye.